Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite drugstore products. The ones that are my holy grails and if I were to lose my makeup I would go out and rebuy right away. So if you're interested keep on watching but before you do make sure to subscribe to my channel to see future videos like this. So let's get started. So my first favorite is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Nude Ivory and that is the light neutral shade. And what I really like about this is it's medium to buildable full coverage, which I really like because then on more natural days you can go medium. And on most days for me, I'll go full coverage and it has no flashback. And yeah, I can't really say anything negative about it. The only thing I can think of is the smell. It straight up smells like paint, um, but you that goes away as soon as you blend it in the skin. But yeah, and this product's only $7.50 Canadian, so you really can't go wrong with that. So the next product is the NYX Ombre Blushes. I have two shades. I have the shade Code Breaker, which is one of the ones I'm wearing today. It's a beautiful color. And yeah, I just really like them. They're super pigmented. I don't know what else to say about a blush, you know what I mean? The longevity is good. They're super bright. Purple. And I think one thing I like about this product is you get more than one color, right? You can wear just the one color, you can wear the other side, or you can mix them all together. So it's perfect for traveling or if you're on the go, because then that way you can try a few blushes. The next product is mascara. So it is the CoverGirl Pumpify Blast Pro. I actually got to try this for the first time in a giveaway from Amy Macedo. I was a winner out of 10 giveaways and basically I got this mascara and a gift card to shoppers. So yeah, I really like it. I think the interesting thing about this is it's kind of similar to the Their Real Brush by Benefit, but what's different about it is the actual wand part is thicker as well as it's actually a spiral. I don't know if you can see that. It has a nice end so you can wiggle between your lashes if they accidentally get clumpy or you can get the bottom lashes a little bit easier. And it's just super black and it doesn't smear everywhere and yeah, I really like it. So the next product is Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. I am wearing the shade Lust for Blush today. I really like them. They're super creamy and they last fairly long. Not super long, but it is just a lipstick and not a liquid lipstick. So. You can't be asking for too much, and I really like the smell, and they just expanded their color line, so you have a lot more selection between nudes and bright colors, which is always nice. So the next product is another lipstick, so these are the Milani Liquid Lipsticks. They have two formulas, they have the Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream, and then they just have the original. I like both, but I favor the metallic one. I find it slightly more hydrating, and it doesn't settle into the fine lines of the lips. So I actually have three of the metallic, and then I have one of the original matte. They're both awesome. Um, again, they're fairly hydrating for the lips. They have beautiful colors, and I think my favorite thing is they smell like butterscotch. I just, like, I want to eat it when I smell them. The packaging, like... Come on, Milani, you, you hit the mark with this one. This does not look like a low-end product. In my eyes, I feel like if someone didn't know what the brand Milani was and they just threw it in a Sephora or like a shopper's boutique, put it there, someone would pay $30, $20 for this. It's amazing. It's amazing quality. It's nice packaging, beautiful colors, just an overall amazing product. The next one is this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. It is the Mad for Matte palette, and it's just a really nice neutral palette. It just looks like this. It's really pretty. You have your light nudes, your medium nudes, and your darker nudes. And it just... You can create any look that you want with this. I feel like this is one that you throw in your purse. You can touch up throughout the day. You could travel with it. Sometimes when I'm playing with shimmery shadows and like an individual shadow like my Urban Decay ones, I'll grab this and I'll use this all in the crease and in the V of my eye and then I'll just use my 
shimmery one for the lid when I want a nice metallic look but yeah no the colors are beautiful I really enjoy this palette and the pigment is so nice look at that beautiful a another eyeshadow option but is the exact opposite it's all shimmery shadows is the wet n wild comfort zone palette so it has eight shadows just looks like this it's a very neutral palette I obviously really like this color I don't know if you can see on camera but it has like a big dent in it and then this brow bone color actually dropped I did not use it that much but yeah I really like it it's it's a must-have it really is and I think the coolest thing about it is this bottom shade that I use a lot is it's very similar to lounge or solstice by urban decay almost like a hybrid and what sometimes I'll do is I'll put this on underneath Solstice just to give it that extra duochrome finish. Mmm, it's so nice. And they're so buttery. And I think this palette's only $5. Like, come on. You, you can skip out on the Timmy's in a month once to get this amazing palette that's going to last you a very long time. It's so nice. I can't... Yeah, it just really really nice so moving on is this essence pure nude highlighter it's a very nice natural highlight um, you can get more pigment if you wet it um, but what I like doing is I actually use it as a hourglass ambient powder dupe and I'll actually use it to set my whole face sometimes when I'm feeling a little luminous day so that's what I did today and just my overall face I think has a nice glow sorry if I'm looking at the viewfinder I'm trying to describe it as I look at myself but yeah no I really like it essence again super cheap five dollars I think for this five ninety five five dollars something like that um and you get a pretty big pan like this is pretty big I don't know if you can tell but it's like the size of my palm almost so for five dollars five ninety five that's that's a good value so next is the Maybelline fit me concealer I think it's just a really nice concealer you've probably heard of this one a thousand times it's probably one of the most popular concealers from the drugstore and I see why it has one of the higher shade ranges from the drugstore as well as it just really blends out nicely Older people can wear it, younger people can wear it. It doesn't settle into fine lines. If you forget a powder, you're able to wear it without it creasing majorly. Of course, it'll look a lot nicer if you set it, but it's not the end of the world if you forget it in your makeup bag. And yeah, and it just covers really nicely. It has a nice applicator. It doesn't smell. <laughs> So for my girls who are more funky, they want bright colors, or they just want a super pigmented lipstick um, from the drugstore, there's the NYX Liquid Suede. Now I know I said bright colors, and this isn't bright, but it's because I can't find my other ones. I think it's in my other purse, and I'm too lazy to go check. Um, but yeah, these guys are super pigmented, so like I'll barely even touch it. Look at that. That's crazy. Um, I think they have over 25 shades. They have black, they have bright blue, they have dark blue, they have light purple, bright purple, dark purple. Like they, if you name a color, they have it. I think the only color that they don't have is yellow. At least at my store, they might have it online. These dry really nice, super thin on the lips. Like you barely feel that they're there. The only complaint I can say is the smell. They do not smell nice, um, so until it dries, I don't like it, but once it's dry and you see the finished product, you're like, no, this is worth it. And this is only $10, so when you compare it to, like, the Steel Liquid Lipsticks, you're saving $21. Do I think it's as nice as the Stila? No. Do I think it's, like, a nice liquid lipstick for the price? Of course. It's amazing. I think that if you can't afford the Stila one... Definitely try this guy or the Milani one. So next is the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. And this is actually another dupe. 
um, in my mind. I find it very similar to the Anastasia glow kits, specifically the Moon Child and the Gleam palette. I find that these two shades, maybe this guy, and then I'm pretty sure there's like a lighter color, is very similar to the Moon Child, and then you have your pinky tones, is very similar to the Gleam palette. I own the Gleam palette, so... I really feel like it's very similar and similar in quality as well. So if you don't want to ship online for the Anastasia palette or you don't want to invest it, I think this is a very good alternative because the colors are very similar and the pigment is very similar. Like already you can see it's beautiful. But just to prove how nice it is, I'm going to just, look, I'm barely going to touch. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So, and that's what I'm wearing on my cheekbones today. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can't go wrong for $30. You're saving, what, $15 to, like, $20 when you get it? How much is the Anastasia? Is it, like, $40 or $55? I don't know. Next thing is another Wet n Wild product. It is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. And, again, I have a few shades of this guy. And I think Rose Champagne is my favorite. Basically for makeup looks that you're like, hmm, like I don't know what blush to put on. Or, oh, I don't want to have rosy cheeks today. This is what you put on. Beautiful. Again, $5 I think only. Amazing value. You get this massive pan again. Look. Look at that. I have two more items, guys. Two more. Can we do it? I think we can do it. So the next one is another NYX item. So it is the Highway and Contour Pro Palette. And not only is the quality really good about this, but I think the best thing about it is the versatility. So yes, you get all these shades and any basically any skin tone can use it because you can use your lighter shades as highlights in setting the face. And then you have your darker ones that you can do as well. Or your different shades of contour, but the really nice thing is you can actually pop them out. And so if you use a shade a lot, so I use this one a lot, when I hit pan, I can just order an individual one of that shade online. As well as they actually have other shades other than these eight. I think they have an additional like 10 shades online that aren't in this palette. So you're able to interchange them. And then I think I saved the best for last. And it is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is, I want to say, my favorite bronzer. And I don't mean, oh, it's my favorite drugstore bronzer. No. I mean, it is my favorite bronzer. I think it is the perfect color. I'll take it out of this guy. I depotted it out of the packaging. But I think it is the most beautiful color. It's not quite matte. It's not quite shimmery. It comes in two shades unfortunately which, which kind of sucks but I have the shade light bronzer. It smells like pina coladas. You can do so much with it because it's not too warm. It's not too cool. You can contour with it. You can just bronze the skin. I used it to bronze my face today. I really like how it looks and you just really can't go wrong with it. You can't. I don't... If you went out to go buy one product today... That one. So yeah, that's all for today, guys. I really hope that you found some new drugstore products that you haven't tried yet. Maybe you can let me know if you do try them and if you enjoy them. And then also comment down below some of your drugstore recommendations. Yes, I work at Shoppers, and it's nice to get your luxury products, but sometimes you just want to save a dime, get those drugstore products, and sometimes they perform just as well as the higher-end products, like the Physician's Formula Bronzer or the Wet n Wild Foundation. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!